It's like, I, if it's okay, I guess it's 6.30, we'll get, we'll get started. We go in the next match. As we do at the beginning, could everybody stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? No. <coughs> Pledge of Allegiance. To the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation visible, with liberty and justice for all. Fantastic. May we have a, uh, a roll call, please? Chairman Wrench. Present. Vice Chair Bart Bartel. Present. Honor Napson. Right here. Commissioner Remington. Commissioner Malarkey. Yes. Commissioner Runty. Here. Kevin Schlieder. Here. Mary Nax. Here. Here. That's it. Fantastic. All right, guys, uh, we'll do uh, the citizen comment period. Are there any citizens wishing to make a comment? Yes, sir. <laughs> Dale Warcher, 5200 West. Wishing to make a comment. Yes, sir. <laughs> Dale Warcher, 5200 West Ryan Road. Um, I just have a comment regarding um, consideration of buying parkland. I think it's. Um, I know there's a agenda item here. I think it's a good idea. Uh, someone brought it up a while ago to have a central park be 50 person. I don't know if buying this piece would be a mutually exclusive thing with a centrally located park, but I think um, other communities uh, like Berlin, they have a central park with a big parking lot, a lot of activities around there, a green field. And then I think that would be a good thing to have. Points. You, Brad? Yes. Okay. This gentleman is from the school district. Yeah, we're gonna. Our, yeah, we're gonna jump to Brad. We're gonna jump on the agenda. If, we're gonna jump on the agenda if that's okay. I, I guess Brad. we will. Uh, if there are no other citizen comments, we will close <laughs> that period. Um, and then we'll move to the approval of the minutes from April 11th. So moved. Second. All in favor? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, the yeses have it. And now um, we will jump to new business item E request by the Frank Ken Wendell Park uh, Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 11.50 for youth tennis for spring and summer. Uh, the dates are listed. Brad, how's it going? Good, how are you? <laughs> oh, good, man. Yeah, uh, oh. we made the decision to switch after the last meeting you guys had where you recommended Ken Wendell Park. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we talked about that um, and thought it may um, have it separated out. There's a parking lot, there's play structures for little kids, siblings that come. Um, our staff did ask if they could utilize both parks or both uh, tennis courts at Ken Wendell instead of just the one. Um, we, we're right now in the process of having registration and about half of the tennis lessons are full with waiting having registration, and about half of the tennis lessons are full with waiting lists. Um, so we want to be able to separate kids out out of two tennis courts with multiple instructors. So we're coming here to ask for that, uh, to see if that's something that the uh, Parks Division would be in favor of. I would. I would. Be in favor of. I would. I would. Be in favor of. For, for the DPW side of things, do you guys see a lot of play on those courts? There's play. Here and no. there. Yeah, not to, not not to not the field. Nothing like across the street? No. Okay. Yeah. Be do we do any sort of signage when the courts are requested for a particular period of time? No. So if um, the instructors just show up and someone's using the court, they say, I'm sorry, we have this reserved for the, for the lessons. And I mean, have you ever had any issues with that at all? No, I don't say some kids don't show up and they're playing. We'll make it work with one court. If they're like, we just got a couple of games and they're on set, we're fine with that. It's just those days when everybody shows up. Um, I will move approval of the request. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 
Hi. Who was um, Pickleball. Uh, you partner with us on Pickleball. Um, what I'm handing you is our year, basically, with Pickleball numbers. Um, it, it talks about Forest Park Middle School handles the indoor season. Um, Kenwood, or Lions Legend Park handles the outdoor. So I put together the numbers of participants of the age group. Age group down, actually between 18 and 84, the age of people that are playing. Um, and then we broke down female and male participants. Um, and just know that most of the sessions that we run have waiting lists. I mean, like, it's not like two or three, it's like 10 to 20 people. And we're taking 75 to 100 people. Or it's not like two or three, it's like 10 to 20 people. And we're taking 75 to 100 people during different sections. Um, so there is, and you're well aware, there's a need. People love playing. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you, that these are the most current numbers we have. Going into, going into our spring and summer registration period right now. So that's some of the going into, going into our spring and summer registration period right now. So that's some of those have already closed with huge waiting lists still to play in the outdoor part of it. Um, those groups, how it works, they've got some volunteers that, that show up and kind of organize everything for the people playing. We purchase all the equipment for them. So we'll purchase all and then the money that's raised also does the overhead for our department and then putting it out online on our rec guide. Um, and then it also helps pay the overtime at Forest Park Middle School because we've been able to have that school open Saturdays and Sundays during the day for people to play football during the winter time. Um, we're going to try and expand that even more um, during the week at Forest Park to put in there that the school district has uh, before. Okay. So we're going to keep trying to build off of that. Um, but this is the partnership that we have with you guys. I just want to see the numbers of people that you're truly serving with the parks. That's awesome. Yeah. Question. Um, but I'm still actually, after all this time, trying to get my head around the two different groups that organize pickleball. Am I correct that one, are they both organized through the rec department? No. Okay. Hence my confusion sometimes, I think. And, and when I say organized, um, we basically we had a group of seniors that came to us and asked league play. So when we throw ours out, it goes in the record. Anybody can sign up. It doesn't matter if it's this group, this group, or they live in one of the facilities, whatever. Anybody's able to sign up for the rec run. So we just have this, the volunteers that initially came to us that actually help us during the daytime or when this is running, put out the equipment and the daytime or when this is running, put out the equipment and say they need balls and do things that way. So. I know there's groups out there that sign up for times, and I would say there's probably, from each of those groups, probably some playing in hours, just because it's open to the entire community. Um, so, yeah, the, the one group we have has been with us the whole time. Um, so, yeah, the, the one group we have has been with us the whole time since the no request came from Paul Yankee to this group probably three, four years ago. But both groups use the equipment that is there? If, if they show up during something that we have reserved and organized, and they show up during something that we have reserved and organized, and the equipment's there, yeah, that equipment's out there for whoever's there to play pickleball that's signed up through the rec department. I think it's the same people that organize their only They do, okay. They do, okay. I guess because then I'm just trying to figure out who the locked trunk belongs to. What does? The locked trunk. There was a, I mean, like a, it belongs, belongs to the city. Box. It belongs to the city. We bought it. We bought it. Whatever's in that trunk. Oh. I believe only one group is there. Right? I'm not sure. Not you, what I heard. Two lands? No. Well, oh yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah, it, it, our group comes out and locks the box. They, they, Use the equipment that's in it. But if you're signed up through the right, I guess, yeah, you're right. If, if there's a different group that comes out there to play, and the box is locked, they're not going to have keys. My understanding is they do have a key. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, was it right yeah, that's oh. what I've kind of. Changed a lot. And, and that's why I'm just getting really confused <laughs> on stuff. Yeah. So there's Sam Creasy, and the, one, the morning senior pickleball is the one that's organized that mm -hmm. through. His commission, I don't think he has a relationship with the rec department. Yeah, that's, that's separate. And I don't know what equipment they have access to. So. And maybe I just don't know enough of the people to know who's with which group. 
<coughs> I'm getting off track, so I, I ought not to do that. I'm sorry. So the lockbox belongs to the city, but the equipment in it belongs to the rec department? Well, we purchase equipment out of the money that they had. So they come and pick the equipment up, the volunteers do. When we order like the balls and the equipment, they come to our office, they pick it up. They take it out for their play. They come to our office, they pick it up. They take it out for their play. So it probably gets stored in that lockbox as part of, so they're not hauling it right, right. back and right. forth. <laughs> okay, that, that, that's all for now. I don't want to get a hard feel. Sure. Okay, that, that, that's all for now. I don't want to get a hard feel. Sure. I mean, I, there's a discussion item here for later just about like overall coordination. I think one of the conversations, thank you for coming this evening, that um, I had with Brad that you would come today is because there's Department of Public Works. Parks Commission that you would come today is because there's Department of Public Works, Parks Commission, and then the Clerk's Office that are all responsible for permitting and park usage through the city. And then you guys are doing effectively programming the parks along with Taylor's Playground. There's kind of like a lot of disparate groups that are this body is kind of like a lot of disparate groups that are this body is essentially the hub for. Um, so it's something to be aware of, and that's, you know, thanks for coming today because I think putting a face with, well, they don't know you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and that's what I was going to say, too, the stuff we're providing for the agency once a year as we're talking about this, how that would work with the other groups that you're laying out. And we're willing to do, we just have never really zeroed in on one or been told that, hey, if you can come to us in March to lay out your summer, that would be helpful for us as we do other things. Yep. So if you let us know that, we have no problem doing I guess when, when is your uh, your plan? So that opens like end of April, early May? Yeah, yeah, it opened the 25th of April. Maybe if we had this week off, sat down like in the March meeting. Sure, yeah, because that would give us time to put it in proof. Yeah. Get the facilities that you guys would approve. So yeah. that if, that works for, if that works for you. Yeah, that would be perfect. We're, we're pretty open next March, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I would suggest to the group that maybe we choose a month that we want to see leave reservations for the summer in case there is like a football or a baseball or like cricket or whatever comes up and say that registration <coughs> needs to occur. You need to be in by like February. And the decisions will be made in March. But in by like February, and the decisions will be made in March. But have a preliminary discussion in February so that we have some time to just clarify so what's about what. Sure. And I think it would be helpful for us to know too. <coughs> Groups that you have are the ones that are displaced because then they come to the school district grabbing the green space by the schools. Yep. And the two parks, because then they come to the school district grabbing the green space by the schools. Yep. And the two parks that the, the, our, uh, the school district has at Robinwood and Southwood and Glenda County parks mm -hmm. that they manage. Mm -hmm. So those groups, I think, probably start with you guys. And if that doesn't happen, then if you're a Franklin resident, you can be free. But we ask them to let us know when they're out there so that the custodians mm -hmm. are trained. So I'm sorry, a resident, you can Free, but we ask them to let us know when they're out there so that the custodians mm -hmm. are trained. So, so I probably a good discussion to have earlier than later sure. so that we yeah. know who's out there. So when they contact us, we know that they're coming through you guys and it's work so we can try and find space for them. Yep. Yeah. I think we approved it, correct? <laughs> Your item was better yes. for All right. Us, so. <laughs> Good luck. <Excellent. laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I guess we will, we will jump back into the, uh, the regular agenda. Uh, we will go with A, an update on the parks maintenance, please. Yeah, Not really, I mean, just about everything is um, set up for summer, so we're kind of going on the summer stuff. Uh, all the pickleball from the windscreens all up, so I'll take a happy that. We're cleaning up some yard waste in some of the parks that uh, from Acres as well. We have some new picnic tables uh, set up, so um, we have stalls in the parks. We can have a few of them out of commission because they're in rough shape. Notice today is uh, the construction at the Pleasant View School has started today. So. End of July. Yeah, no, it's... Cool. I saw your 
social media post about the. Did you comment on it? I didn't, but I shared it. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> we'll just fit in. Yeah. Sometimes Saturday. you just had enough of stuff, so I had enough with people not um, yeah. taking care of the park, so I, I put some had enough with people not um, yeah. taking care of the park, so I, I put some on Facebook. Oh, I see. It was appropriate, I think. I mean, it was not. Yeah, I calmed down before I wrote that. Yeah, no, it was. <laughs> no, it was. I, I cleaned the, the one park and it was a total mess, so I, I, I told myself, oh, I'll calm down before I wrote one park and it was a total mess, so I, I, I told myself, oh, I'll calm down before I write anything on here. So. Well, and we were driving down Coots Road Saturday morning. I looked at my husband, I'm like, oh, I'm afraid it's going to be a really big mess. Because it was so crowded. <laughs> Crowded all the time. Yeah. Thank you. Jump to letter B. Uh, uniform signage for all parks. We have this email me about. I reached out to the sign maker uh, at Guido Signs and uh, he was seeing if we could fix the the concern. Um, Dale had pointed out, you may not be able to see it at first glance, but down the I said they need to be run again. Um, he wasn't willing to do that. Two options that he gave to us was to have an overlay over the no motorized vehicles. Um, I asked him if he had any more <laughs> opportunities for, you know, fixing the issue, and he said that he could do of the, the, the logo, the logos on the bottom there. Uh, I brought up the concern, uh, obviously, we live in Wisconsin with the weather, and if you're just putting, for lack of a better term, just a sticker over it, I, I see a lot of that. Um, I shared that over it. I, I see a lot of that. Um, I shared that with him. Did he have an explanation of why it's like that? No. Did he proof it? it? It's called bit mapping. So when you take a logo like a free well, one off the off a line and it's not a good resolution, like a free well, one off the off a line and it's not a good resolution, it bit maps out. How about we leave it as is and get a discount? Well, yeah, that's what. I well, yeah, because from a distance, it's fine. yeah. I can't. I mean, it's, if you're well, looking up at it real close. I well, okay. The the other things we pointed out was um, this circle smaller than these mm -hmm. two. I well, okay. The, the other things we pointed out was um, this circle smaller than these two, mm -hmm. I yeah. that. and uh, a red circle around. It, uh, I, I, I questioned if that had any meaning at all. And uh, if I, on Wikipedia, it says that other countries use just a red circle as for the no, for the no. right? Mm -hmm. And then also that other countries use just a red circle as for the no, for the no, right? Mm -hmm. And then also the slash should be on top of the Over. if you want to get nitpicky, right. mm -hmm. should be on top of the motorcycle mm -hmm. rather than. So, can it be used as is? I uh, that's an option. I, can it be used as is? I uh, that's an option. I, 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 if, uh, if I were a business owner and I'm putting stuff like that out, I wouldn't want it out in the parks. But that's just me. But you know, um, they won't and, redo it. Because, what's that? They won't redo it for their mistakes. I'm gonna share that information that he provided with the commission tonight. Um, what our course of action? Obviously, invoice was not paid. Not sure how the. I have. Should we have the mayor call? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, did you? Did you? Did you? Did someone sign a proof for it? Like, did they say? Um, can you notice it from there? I mean, how far away? Can you notice it? I no, I can see the smaller circle. Yeah. But can you the, see the pixelation in no. there? No. I can see it on his head. <laughs> I can definitely. You just know it's there. Yes. But I think that dog thing should have been green and not red. When I sent the, mm -hmm. the original green proof over, that was not with the circle. It added that. Um, right. There's absolutely no circle. Right. On the right. Side, there's no circle right. at all. Right. Didn't give us what we wanted. 
Right. Right. Yeah. Exactly. You didn't give us what we wanted. Right. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I agree. I agree. I think we just haven't made a call. Otherwise, it looks good. Top two. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, it looks good. Top two. Yeah. Yeah. Getting there. That's a good idea. So do I reach out here? So do I reach out here? Oh, what do Did he give? I know you said something about wanted an answer from him before the He did get back to me. Oh, he did. Yeah, okay, that I, was what he said I, then. Yeah. He says he doesn't want to fix it, right? So. Quote: I would like to correct the fuzzy image problem with a vinyl overlay. So. Quote: I would like to correct the fuzzy image problem with a vinyl overlay. You can cover the image itself or the row of three images. That's from the mayor? No, that was uh, from the just sign. Just sign. My question is. <laughs> You know, I didn't even, I was yeah. really pushing for them to run it again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the overlay we, last we are the overlay the like. product. Yeah, yeah. Right. I kind of think the product that, we, the product that we expect. Yeah. Right. Therefore. I mean, what? if it's not matching the proof that you reviewed, like, mm -hmm. you just the whole. Right, yeah. I agree right. with that. I would agree. I can email the mayor with, because I was copied. Yeah, mm -hmm. and. Thank you. I guess we'll, we'll move on to letter C. Park permit fees and deposit for rental pavilion <laughs> and other facilities at all City of Franklin Parks. I have not heard back from the clerk's office yet. They must be really busy or they don't, they forgot all about it or something. So I was kind of waiting. For yeah, you. thank you. Um, I got some feedback from some other folks about this. And one second. I think what I just want to meet with them for because I don't think they want it to be all on one form. Yeah, that was, they verbally told me that about some things, but I think there might be more on where I have like differences that I'm not totally clear on. So, right. yeah, it's, it's. Or, or even if they make their own, then they should add some of the stuff that I included in there so yeah. that it, repeats, it answers everybody's question. I'll be honest, I don't know that anyone in this currently has the graphic design skill to do, okay. do the edits. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, no, I mean, they they already know how to type do it. the edits. Um, <laughs> Well, I mean, no, I mean, they they already know how to type up the one page. Oh, yeah. it, that's why I just redid it because I couldn't stand it, but I just do that. Um, but I, I'm not offended if they just what they have. If that makes their life at they, some point yeah. in life, at they, some point yeah. in life, they should sit down and think about it. That would be fab. I mean, they were in favor of them. It's just like, mm -hmm. well, they get pretty busy. Um, so I had a couple of follow-ups about some of this stuff because we were having a discussion. I forwarded the tree item to you the Did you guys see the tree item? Because this is a, that's the first time you guys have seen this. Right. So I put it in the packet. Um, this was, I think you had sent it to me last month, but there's the, the donation forms here. Um, and the city forester had a couple of items of feedback for the group. Um, so... He suggested commemorative tree as a term for it, oh, okay. um, just because you know he thought that would be a little bit more generalized. <coughs> I'm not talking about park permit fees now. We jumped to um, donations. Oh, did we? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. <coughs> I have. <laughs> yeah. And I'm right here, so. Yep. So. Yep. Sorry, we, Mary. We can, continue, we can continue on if that works for Mary. Sorry, chair. That's okay. Monday. So we skip the budget <laughs> part then, the B. And we yeah, we'll save the hard stuff for the end. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so this, if you're looking at the tree thing, the first page, this you guys haven't seen. This is kind of what we discussed a little bit last time, mm -hmm. that if you just take a park, like I would say Pleasant View, because I've been there and there's a lack of trees there. So if we wanted people to purchase trees for that park, don't you view, because I've been there and there's a lack of trees there. So if we wanted people to purchase trees for that park, don't you? I don't know if you guys already have trees planned out. I don't know. Let's view Park has an approved site plan with landscaping, but the park is actually possibly not as large as we think. Okay. Um, because the park is actually possibly not as large as we think. Okay. Um, because yeah, so <laughs> there's an 80 acre area to the east of what is Pleasant View Park, which is immediately south of the elementary school. And that is a area. That is, and that is a prairie. That is under a conservation easement from MSC. That doesn't necessarily mean we couldn't plant more trees, but it has to be appropriate things for the ecosystem that they're trying to create. So, in five of the lots. Okay. Um, that, but the city forester really liked the idea of the map um, and there right. are other parks. So the. The Environmental Commission is currently having a discussion about how to think our mitigation standards for trees in the city mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. um, so there's probably going to have to be. It's, what is that called? Victory Park. Victory Park. Yeah. Because yeah. we could make that, then if you have less trees, the Pleasant View, we could make it a plan. Yeah, well, that's the area that has the conservation. So it's going to be a flood plan. Um, they don't put any trees there at all. So, um, I can look into the conservation unit, but there are other parks. Um, so the new park on Lower's Lane, where as we do the restoration, the environmental restoration there, like that would be great. I'll see that would be awesome. Yeah. So this was just my. I'll see that would be awesome. Yeah. So this was just my, like, version. It, this is nothing official, nothing said, it's just how we could do it, yeah. Yep, um, okay. his other piece of feedback was that um, he liked the idea of, yeah, the idea of a map. Um, he liked the idea of, yeah, the idea of a map. Um, and they thought it was a really good idea, so. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but there is like a, a list of preferred trees. <coughs> One that's adopted and one that's in development. So because he he's trying to discourage one that's in development. So because he he's trying to discourage like one kind of tree. There's a goal to have a big variety of trees all throughout the city. Um, that was one. Yeah, that he's well, right. If we do this, we could put what kind of tree it is right away. Like yep. so, if we know what it is, just put it down. So it's right away. Like yep. so, if we know what it is, just put it down. So. And they don't have a choice to pick their own tree. Well, Just something. <coughs> originally, trees were planned for the Pleasant View construction that they're doing now. Kevin, do you know if they're still included? With the construction. Yep. <coughs> yeah, Victory Creek is. I mean, I can look at the conservation. Then putting trees in that park, mm -hmm. um, and then I can also look into. Or, I want to call it that. <laughs> <laughs> um, donations there. So. I don't know if you guys have feedback about a fund for trees. How that would work? Yeah. So Piggy, let me know. Um, I have a back. Yeah. So Piggy, let me know. Um, I have a background in fundraising and I'm a little nervous about the administrative side of this um, because it would be a new, very unusual for a fundraiser to not acknowledge a gift for two weeks. Not every four months of time. Not every four months of time. Uh, so, um, Uh, apparently those donations go two or three times a year to Common Council, but then the department receiving the funds, it would be up to them whether or not they send acknowledgements. But 
that's kind of where it's seen as right now. Okay. Yeah. Well, there, everybody's looking into it. Oh, yeah. it's so, just like a start of a program. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. A couple quick comments. Um, I just noticed, and this might be a typo, um, in the Legacy Tree Celebration, mm -hmm. um, we have you know reserving a tree at four hundred dollars, mm -hmm. but then on the last page, the Legacy Tree donation is three hundred dollars. Oh, I know, I changed it. Oh, I, you did. I okay, that. yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Um, changed it to which? Four hundred. Yeah. yeah. Um. Um. Changed it to which? Four hundred. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm wondering, um, the park and trail map is, do we feel this is ready to send on to council and then have them say, put it up on the, and have them say, put it up on the website and, you know, this becomes our published, right. um, piece. And secondly, I'm wondering if the donation policy could go to a committee of the whole meeting in June council. You know, I think it's, I, I, I think this is in a good form to at least say, this is a sample of what we're looking at doing. You know, please right. take a look and, and give us some feedback before this commission were to move any further with something. Sure. Well, agreed. Yeah, it sounds good. So these are, this is two different things. Yeah. So eventually, if we do do that, we'll have to. If we're going to do a planting where the people are planting, some people do it on Arbor Day, mm -hmm. like every Arbor Day. Mm -hmm. That would be like I just put September. And you know, maybe it's even it's Environmental just, Commission to take over some mm -hmm. of the. I think so too. Yeah. Um, I think we need to do Kevin. Kevin. Hi. <laughs> so, and I do want to point out, Dale did an awesome job. He was giving me corrections left and right on hey, different additions hey. and stuff, and we worked things out. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Even though we didn't talk, we just did everything through the mail, but that's how everything is done now. Well, I think it looks beautiful. But, yeah, we moved things, I moved things around a little. I put the schools on the front, so it used to be a front and the back, and I just said, well, let's, this is probably too much, guys, so we just did the front, <laughs> which is all right. All one big <laughs> Which is all right. All one big So are we thinking the map itself needs like acceptance by council or is it something you can just make straight up? Um Um I'd like council to see it. Okay. I'd like the public to see it. I don't know that they necessarily need a formal endorsement of it or acceptance of it, but um, I, I'd like to give a little bit wider set of eyes to say, hey, look at this. Mm -hmm. You want to get some printed, some bigger sizes and stuff um, that you can post at City Hall. Well, sure. It'd be nice to put a poster in the by the clerk's office and that right. sort of thing. Right. First, new trail has pop up on right. That. right. 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 Our website. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You could go right out with it. And gone in the next newsletter, don't you think? It would have to be an insert if it was going to be a right. full color. Right. An insert in the office. Or a house. I think this yeah. would be very important to have people but put so this small. up on their. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I do think people would put yeah. it up on their. Absolutely. In their yeah. office or bulletin board or, right. you know. Who would put yeah. it up on their. Absolutely. In their yeah. office or bulletin board or, right. you know. Yeah. <clears throat> What is right. it for? Is it be 24 by 36? Or what's the no, it's just it's set up as an 11 by 17. Okay. So. Is there going to be like a formal sign off on this? Like someone going to form it? Form is there going to be like a formal sign off on this? Like someone going to form it formally? Right, that's or a, a group of people. That's what I would suggest. I, I, I didn't do anything with the, the right. county parks information. I okay. Just input on the part of the park. Mm -hmm. okay. Input on the part of the park. Mm -hmm. And I could run it past you if someone at the county would just look at it. Mm -hmm. How many was it? Oh gosh, um, June, we may have missed the deadline for it. Because oh. of a support. 
surprising song. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't need that. Uh, but publishing on the website is just the administrators on the could we have papers out in the library? Papers out in the library or someplace? Oh, yeah, yeah, anybody. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep, I think we could definitely do a quick talk from the library. Yeah, on Franklin Facebook page. Are there, are there places in the parks where it might be a Yeah. That would be a nice belt project. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> More so that but with Kayla's, you know, along the trail. More so when you enter, like when you come in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, oh, wow. I wouldn't do that one. <laughs> I said there's a Boy Scout that's in the that's looking for a project. So and there's a kiosk yes. that either the the purchase one that's already made and get the money for it. That's the question. Well, eventually you would like to put them at all the parks and like park how to get the infant workers there come into the park and see it. And there used to be Kayla's or the trail coming up too. It's like, like a. No, it's like an hour. Mr. Strelo's still there. Mm -hmm. In the woods? He took mm -hmm. the one going into the woods for the piece. There's still one at 42nd Street entrance, so it's in there. One at 42nd and one at uh, on 35th. And there's, and there's yeah. one on Are they in need of repair? Are they in need of repair? Or replacement? They're dead now. We don't put any information on them. I, I fixed them up good enough to put information in them. And well, now you do. Yay! <laughs> but the amount of people that go through, Yay! <laughs> but the amount of people that go through really isn't a lot. It's only to make it from there. Maybe one could be put up in front of the library. Mm -hmm. Put up in front of the library. Mm -hmm. I think I'm done. Nice job. We'll move on to, uh, I guess we'll go back to D. 20 and 20, 2022 and 2023 budget, Parks Committee additions, capital outlay fund needs, equipment revolving fund needs, street improvement fund needs, and major capital expenditure with borrowed funds. Um, so in your packet last month, you had, um, Fresh copies of last year's um, capital improvement plan for the use of impact funds um, that was developed over the summer in collaboration with the city administrator's office. So, in this week, month packet, there is, I apologize, this print is a little smaller than I didn't realize it was this small. Um, and I can send out fresh copies of this, but there is a worksheet. It's similar to the one that you received last year to just brainstorm. You may recall that there were a number of items that you put forward um, last year. Your first priority being the replacement for at Kayla's Playground. Um, then also snow clearing machine, the site plan for Water Tower Park signage um, was funded in this year. An ice rink, baseball brewing machine, wide park decorations for holidays, um, tennis court surfacing, pickleball amenities, dog amenities, um, a gazebo, a dog park, <laughs> um, senior fitness equipment, a fitness court, a skate park equipment, a fitness court, a skate park, 
Frisbee golf course, um, a model airplane facility, cricket pitch, and um, tennis court. Sorry, so there was new tennis courts and then the tennis court repair one. Um, and so the only addition, like new capital improvement request, and so the only addition, like new capital improvement request that the public has submitted since this budgeting process occurred is exercise equipment in Lion Legends Park. Um, so I can recirculate the memo from last year about the budget that you put forward. Uh, but at this point, I'm asking you to kind of think through your priorities in terms of new amenities, um, repairs to existing amenities, that kind of thing. So I imagine Kayla's score will probably be priority again, although this commission obviously doesn't make the final decision about how the park budget is allocated. Um, and then just a reminder that some things are eligible for him speaking, new things are eligible for impact fees and then the attendance match. Okay. Did myself a favor and put this slide in here. Um, so, um, in, and it depends on the kind of park that it's in. So, currently, you have uh, facilities for different parks based on the size of the park. Um, and then there is also this goal to purchase new parkland. So, um, right now, it's just for you guys to kind of have a brainstorm and you can chat about it as a group if you want or away the worksheet and add some things in for you and we can start to work through the process of getting your priorities here. Just want to get the process started first. So this is for the 2023 budget. Um, and yeah, we'll get going. <laughs> you look like you have a question. You look like you have a question. <laughs> well I was waiting to ask the Go right ahead. <laughs> Uh, in, re in reference to the flooring at Kayla's Playground, um, I wanted to ask Dale, have you noticed any white film on any of the surfaces? Yeah, I did. What, what was film on any of the surfaces? Yeah, I did. What, what was it? Well, late la last year, the, with the surfaces coming apart, and I thought we were going to get a new flare out under new pressure, and get one, but apparently not. And then the floor kind of was cracking real bad, but apparently not. And then the floor kind of was cracking real bad, and I went to this little wire of the sealer coat that we put on in the past, and couldn't get in. So I used some old stuff, and I filtered it, and it, apparently it, I didn't filter it good enough. I used a pretty fine screen, and, and the pretty fine screen, and, and the whatever. It, it had white spots. It's the best I okay. can do. I, I, it's going to fall apart. It's, I see cracks already this year, and I, I don't know. It's going to be I just had someone reach out to me thinking it was mold. So I fine when I was putting it on, but so. And thanks. That makes me feel a lot more comfortable. <laughs> it makes you feel what? I'm more comfortable that there's no mold out there. Well, it doesn't look great, though. Well, at least it's safe. <laughs> Um, one other thing that I know I've had conversations the efficacy of having it be accessible. Really, when you're pushing a wheelchair, obviously, on a new service compared to that of a wheelchair, it's, it's a fine line. And um, just something that I'd like to bring up to the commission that in mind. Um, obviously, the bottom line and what we spend is, is important, but also it's accessible playground. playground. And I would hate to not be able to say that it is right. if we replace that flooring. Say that it is right. if we replace that flooring in a way that's well, not supportive of, of, of a truly encouraging playground. So I just wanted to share that with the commission. Kind of plant the seeds of that. It's Mr. important Turf. that we keep it within the seeds of that. It's Mr. important Turf. that we keep it within, you know, the guidelines. And obviously, I'm I'm open to going and exploring turf. Um, I'm, but I will be taking a wheelchair and I will be taking a walker. <laughs> a that's, lot. A, that's what I was going to ask. Are there are those mm -hmm. accessible surfaces? Because I know grass is not. <laughs> a, a lot. That's what I was going to ask. Are there are those mm -hmm. accessible? 
accessible surface. Because I know grass is not. I don't know. Perfectly. I'll be. I'll do some more digging. You guys are more welcome to do digging as well, and you can certainly open that up for sure. community-wide search on that. But um, something. To Is there information that the commission would find useful to help with this discussion? Um, I can use the highlight um, because that is your plan for the park, but then it's not the only frame of reference. It's, it also has to be responsive to what the community needs, so like pick a wall and then it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, if there's information that you guys would find useful, let me know. Um, otherwise, I will send out the worksheet and as an Excel spreadsheet. And if you want, send it back to me and I'll start to compile. Awesome. Yeah, really. uh, thank you. Yeah, really. uh, thank you. So we'll, I guess we'll move on to the next one. Uh, letter F. Well, that's a big one. Recommendation to Common Council to pursue the purchase pursue the purchase parkland adjacent to the western boundary of the Franklin Savannah State Natural Area on West Oak Road. Park Commission may enter closed session to pursue a Wisconsin statute. For market competition, they had bargaining reasons to consider the potential acquisition of property to be used for public park purposes in the city and to re-enter open session at the same place thereafter to act on such matters discussed therein as it deems appropriate. Move to enter a closed session. I'll second that. I guess we uh, take a vote. Can you get a roll call? Yeah. Evan Rush? Yes. Mr. Chair Bartell? Aye. Alderman Hanneman? Aye. Burlington? Um, the eyes have it. Back into open. Excellent. Into open. Excellent. Letter G. Update on trails projects, including South 116th, St. Martin of Tours, West Forest Home Avenue, West Church Street, State Highway 100, Ryan Creek, and Cascade Creek Park. Um, so, Glenn is not able to be here this evening. He sent me just a quick update um, with information about all of the various trails projects underway. So, St. Martin of Tours, um, currently, you may recall that previously there was a discussion of routing the trail connection for 100. Um, the current church committee is not in favor of that, so they're, they're that discussion is open again. Um, it would be a less expensive expensive option to put it up 116th Street, um, but it wouldn't be as attractive visually and as pretty as it so. Um, 116th Street, you're aware that we received a CMAC grant. Um, so he's investigating construction this year, um, depending on with that schedule. Um, and also looking to construct the trailhead. Um, so I think we discussed this at the previous meeting. Oh. Head. Um, so I think we discussed this at the previous meeting, but um, there's the trailhead that in it, the intersection of 116th Street. It's not 116th Street, but it's right by that new development on Ryan Road. Um, Ryan Meadows, uh, in an area that, um, so, okay, um, they're hoping to bid out this trail segment that's going to go through the wetland area, or not the wetland area, the outlaw area, there's a wetland nearby, sorry, um, adjacent to Ryan Meadows. I saw a draft of it recently, so it would wrap around that rise development. Um, they have entered into a working agreement with the school, um, but it hasn't been, <clears throat> so far it's internal. Um, so, uh, 
Are there any that you have questions about? There's still 10 more on this list that I can <laughs> rattle off with you. So. Is construction well, taking place in any of them this year? Um, it sounds like he's trying to get 116th Street kicked off this year, at least some portion of it, and then we'll be doing design further. Um, and there might be facilities that start to get built, but um, it's not clear how far it's I don't know if you have other. Yeah, yeah um, Church Street Trail, wide concrete shoulder with rumble from College Avenue, 31st to 27th, constructed this summer as part of the. Yeah, that's part of our road program. That'll be starting after school, I thought. Yeah, so Mission Hill to St. Martin. And, um, and then Water Tower Park is about a month out. Our park is about a month out from going to bid. We started the planning process. That's that park um, that was acquired two years ago now. Um, Lovers Lane. So um, the Department of Transportation has only allowed for a limited number of parking spaces on the site, and only allowed for a limited number of parking spaces on the site and driveway width. Um, so they're currently negotiating some of the details of that because the park is supposed to be there's supposed to be a park there in addition to water towers. Um, and they have questions about the traffic. Can we refer? About the traffic. Can we refer to that from the owners? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> My <Yeah>. like it. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll take a look at letter H. Request by. Uh, I guess we'll take a look at letter H. Request by City of Franklin resident, former alderman Dan Mayer, uh, from the South Light Hall, Market Square Park. Um. So. Former Alderman Mayor sent along this proposed language for the plaque to be installed at the base of the park. Former Alderman Mayor sent along this proposed language for the plaque to be installed at the base of the park. So I don't know if CW has an update on moving it around or not, but I um, thought the commission would like to see this shared it with us. So um, this is the proposed language for the plaque. Proposed language for the plaque. The only thing I can say is um, the cost is going to be roughly, it, with one bench and a plaque, it's roughly 4000 Go to 2000 If we go to two benches, it's around 4700 I didn't want to <laughs> say that without it. You, uh, yeah. So there will be two benches. Yeah. Is what I'm saying. But it wouldn't For change one. the price. Um, actually, when do we believe they have more than <laughs> When do we think that'll be complete? Yeah, I think it has. Yeah, I think it has to go to council. Even that is done. This is outside. Yeah. That's what it is. <coughs> Does anybody have any issues with the wording that was submitted? Nope. Are they looking for us to approve the wording? I think it was just informational. I should sure. have feedback. Actually, I'd love a clarification. Actually, I'd love a clarification. St. Martin's, an apostrophe or no apostrophe? Mm. You would know. I have no idea. I don't know because the wording here does not have apostrophe in St. Martin's. And what is the, what's the church? It's St. Martin. Okay. Tours, and that was That's recently huge. done after. Right. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And there are a couple of different Saint Martin tour saints, or is it belonging to one saint? 
I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just need to have that maybe clarified, I think. Historical society, yeah. Knows. yeah, maybe. But before we codify the wording, we might want to make sure we're. <clears throat> Is there a sign when you enter that area, St. Martin's? You refer to that, not Other that that's. the road sign. I yes, there. there is. Yeah, isn't there? Yeah. All corners. Not that that's the yeah. gospel, but that may be a place to start. What does that say? Sign with a yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. It's like a blue. All right. Fantastic. Well, I guess so. We could dive into the new business. Selections. How, do the, how does that whole process work? Um, so you need to elect a chair and a vice chair, and then the chair appoints the secretary. Um, so, and that's just. <laughs> it's just yeah, I think we should hold off on that until. Yeah, I think we should hold off on that until. Well, but considering she just volunteered. <laughs> I'll tell her you said that. Yeah. That's fine. I'll send her a bottle of wine, don't worry. <laughs> She'll be happy. Done. <laughs> She'll be happy. Done. Excellent. So can I nominate Mike? I'll second it. Sure. Okay. Done. Gibson elected vice chair. Oh, you oh. oh, sir. <laughs> all, all in favor of electing Mike. Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Yeah, I guess he's got it. Election of the vice chair. Anybody interested? Sure, I'll do it again if, if nominated. If nominated. And I will nominate Mr. Dave Bartles. Excellent. Um, all in favor of Mr. Dave. Second. I'll second the first one. I did. Appoint a secretary. We'll appoint Jan. She's not here. You don't need to vote on an appointment. No, that's your discussion. Oh. Awesome. <coughs> yeah, I don't think we voted on, oh, on well, the vice chair yet. Can we vote on Mr. Dave? All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you, guys. That was beautiful. We have uh, administrative policies for coordination of league reservations, permits, other park use approval. So we had a personal discussion about this when the rec department was here. Uh, I just want to make sure the commission understands that there are, there are several different groups that you are effectively the hub for. So this is the organizational chart for the national chart for the city um, and it is organized as citizens are obviously the most important element here and then um, subject to them are the common council the mayor and the municipal court there's also the library board and the tourism commission which are separate um, and so this commission is a, a effectively a sub tourism commission which are separate um, and so this commission is a, a effectively a subcommittee of the common council um, so it's kind of its own thing in that way. Um, so I am a planner. I work in the planning department, and we are responsible for um, the event, and we are responsible for um, the administration of zoning and land use decisions in the city. Um, and what that means is that I am the planner that helps to implement the comprehensive outdoor recreation plan, which is the guiding document for plan for the park system um, it's intensive master plan so these are city adopted policies um, that I'm part of my role is to help you implement that and then our department is responsible for administration for the commission so our department secretary and I um, we compile your packets we make sure that all the noticing procedures are appropriately um, followed we help coordinate requests uh, and so that means that Gail, who I think some of you have 
probably met. Um, and I sort of end up being the hub for this commission to then relate back to other departments. So you as commissioners obviously have access to those other folks too. Um, but as if there are some restrictions on you guys talking outside of meeting time, I end up being a hub, which is my role. Um, but I want to just make, make it clear that I'm in the planning department. So um, although I have an excellent collaboration relationship with DPW and engineering, um, that is a separate department. <laughs> Um, and Kevin is the superintendent of public works, um, and he reports to the city engineer, Glenn, um, and then Dale is also a staff member, but the parks department, and there is an actual parks department, um, is part of engineering and DPW. So I know that's a little bit confusing because sometimes people have said, oh, engineering and DPW. So I know that's a little bit confusing because sometimes people have said, oh, we don't have a parks department. That's not entirely accurate. It's just part of a much bigger organization. Um, so, and they have an administrative staff that helps organize things like um, paying for things, so that helps organize things like um, paying for things, so if it comes out of their budget, invoices get sent to DPW, that kind of thing. Um, but that staff works through me to communicate with the community and help get things scheduled. So these guys review things that you receive Usually, I try to route a formal procedure at this time. It's something that I'm working on trying to formalize a little bit better because um, because of the different inputs that we get, sometimes stuff gets lost. My email gets really messy, but um, I'm trying to formalize a process to make sure that this commission is hearing all of the requests that you should be hearing. Not um, and so. Um, and then Public Works is reviewing things. So there's things that they'll say, well, we'll just handle it. All of this guy's issue with the bench or whatever. Um, and then finally, there is someone else working the clerk's office. So the clerk is kind of of the city. Um, so that's that desk, the first desk that you would see when you walk into the into city hall past council chambers. Um, they end up being sort of the recipients and guides of a lot of information through the city, and they handle the permitting process. So what you see, the commission sees requests that are things that the, the effectively the permit clerk at in the clerk's department um, is able to approve. So requests for bounce houses or unusual things at, um, at enduring rentals or long-term rentals and requests. Um, so those fee permits all have fees. Um, so those fee Permits all have fees attached to them. I will note there's no fees attached to any of the reviews that you guys do. Um, it's, it's just a point of information, but it is something to be aware of because that revenue is part of kind of what's funding the overall use of the parks. It is part of kind of what's funding the overall use of the parks. Um, but it is also, it creates another layer of stuff that people have to do. So. Uh, but most of these permits are for things like pavilion rentals, um, the occasional softball court. I have my brain today. Uh, <laughs> I come close to describing any court that's a <laughs> court. Tennis, a field court, yeah. Racket sports, I don't know, man. It would be beneficial to have this in my package. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't get a hold of it until. Um, I didn't get a hold of it, but I can email it out. So yeah, I want so I want you guys to understand that like uh, there's kind of a few different layers. So I know it's occasionally a little bit like why does it feel like this is a lot of cooks in this kitchen? <laughs> because there's kind of a lot of cooks in this kitchen. Um, so do you guys have any questions about this? Um, so do you guys have any questions about this? Um, This is actually um, on the city website, but I kind of doctored it up so that you guys could. Yeah, if you could send that out, that'd be good. Please. Yep. And then, and then also in your packet, um, many of you have seen this before, but what, there should have been a copy of your administrative rules and procedures. Um, so this commission, part of how it's been established under the Common Council is through um, this is actually part of the ordinance. So your chain of decision making that gets 
um, occasionally a little complicated, but you are an important part of the city and you are enabled in that way through the ordinances. So, I mean, your role to inform the city and help guide the implementation of the park plan is really important. So, no, I just wanted to make sure you had all that information. I don't think the time on the calendar when I normally do this kind of discussion. So, uh, do folks have any questions about this? I do have just another point. Yes. Newly appointed <laughs> person. Yes. Uh, some of you may have seen out on Facebook. Uh, yes. Uh, some of you may have seen out on Facebook. Uh, I posted there's two uh, training sessions for ambassadors coming up this Thursday at six o'clock at the police department in the courtroom, as well as next Thursday the nineteenth. If you could share that on social media, that would be great. I'd much appreciated. I know that I. And if you could share that on social media, that would be great. I'd much appreciated. I know that I see a few of you. I, I know you shared it. Um, all the that. So, but if you know of anyone that's looking for volunteer hours, please, please share. What time are those starting? Six o'clock. You. Six o'clock. So you're there. What time are those starting? Six o'clock. You. Six o'clock. So you're welcome. Any, all of you are welcome to attend. How old do you have to be? Sixteen. Sixteen. Not old enough. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully we can, you know, Maybe. get out there and make the rules uh, be known, and not get out there and make the rules uh, be known, and not have to have Dale post on his <laughs> Facebook page. Are you getting Kathy from last year? Yes, Ooh, she's good. amazing. I <laughs> wish I could clone her. I mean, she's just been a really, she's really great. So hopefully we can get some more ships covered and. Thank you. Thank you. I guess the, uh, the next meeting date, we're looking at it, is June 13th. Does that make sense? Fantastic. That's right. <laughs> Excellent. Makes um, perfect sense. It's at this time we uh, take a motion to adjourn. I have a motion to adjourn. Second.